Hi everyone, it is me, Evie. Um, I am coming to you guys with my week 22 post-lap band surgery update. Um, talking numbers, I am exactly the same weight I was last week to the point. Um, but it is at the lowest of my plateau, if you get what I'm saying. I've been plateauing between like three sets of numbers and it's frustrating but right now today I weighed myself I know it's a day late um, and last week I came with a later update but um, I really can't complain I'm not doing too much I'm trying to get back in the grind I did go to the gym on Monday and I was gonna go to the gym the next morning but I had um, some things to attend to but I work tonight and tomorrow so I will be going to the gym in the morning um, in hopes that I don't get my butt kicked at work but um, with that said um, I don't know I've been kind of emotional lately so my face is feeling very puffy right now but anyway um, I'm trying to come out with like more beauty stuff and I'm not trying to put, push my lap band stuff aside because I still do it every week but I almost forgot to film one this week so I just woke up and I was like oh I gotta film an update for you guys I know I'm scatterbrained all the time, especially when it comes to my updates. So, um, my restriction is good. I'm at 6 cc's for those that want to know. Um, I had an unfill a couple weeks ago. This Friday, I go to see my doctor again. Um, well, the PA or the APRN, and I'll see if I need a fill. I feel like I am, I want to say I'm comfortable where I'm at. Um, I do feel restriction. I do only eat three times a day and surprisingly enough, you know, I only eat three times a day unless I'm at work and then I eat, I think, four times a day because I work, you know, at night. I don't know. I get hungry in the mornings. I get hungry mid shift and I get hungry in the beginning of the shift. So whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm not really hungry as much. I mean, I have cravings and it could mean that I'm like vitamin de deficient of some sort, but you know, that's about that. And yeah, that's pretty much it as far as an update goes. Um, I hope getting back into the routine of, of working out, you know, starts, you know, helping me out. But I'm eating the same foods and I'm wondering if my body's just settling into like, oh, now we're comfortable, so. You know, she doesn't have to lose any more weight. Yes, she does, honey, boo boo child. She needs to lose more weight. So, um, today's my dad's birthday and he passed away when I was 17. So I'm a little emotional. Um, so I hope today my food choices are decent. So, no takeout. <laughs> but, um, even when I do takeout, I try to maintain just a protein, maybe vegetable style thing. Try not to eat too many starches. I did notice, though that starches give me that pressure around my chest area and they start to get stuck so <clears throat> excuse me so I'm starting to wean <coughs> excuse me I'm starting to wean myself off of starches like uh, french fries which is like my thing and was it um Jen from uh Jen Cop I feel you honey when you just want a french fry and it's okay with eating one french fry but I think once I go to like the second french fry I'm like I need to stop I start feeling kind of semi stuck and that right there just makes me push it away and just enjoy the rest of my meal with the protein so I am starting to show um, my own restrictions per se like me stopping from eating certain things like rice and stuff like that I'll eat like a very small bit and I'm I'm pretty sufficed with that um pastas I haven't tried too many kinds of pastas lately um I made a Guyanese chow mein uh, it's like a West Indian uh lo mein or style thing um with chicken in it and I was able to tolerate it but I didn't eat on my whole plate and I didn't serve myself a lot so I was really happy with that because I made sure I eat most of the chicken I eat some of the noodles even though it's mixed together and I was really proud of myself because I didn't eat it all so um and not that I served myself a lot either so that was just my way of seeing that I really wasn't craving as much of the starches but I was okay with the little bit that I got so I know I'm rambling on about this damn subject, but that's pretty much it. Um, 
I'm getting there. I really don't think I'm, I might not get a fill on Friday, but I will go see him. I'm sure he's worried about me because the last time he saw me, it looked like he wanted to choke up a little bit, but he does know what's going on in my life. And <clears throat> he didn't like seeing me, you know, looking sickly. I wasn't happy, so I was miserable. So it's nice. You know, you guys have to utilize your... <sighs> Sorry, brain fart. You have to utilize the peers that you have around you. You have APRNs, you have PAs, you have your doctor. You know, don't be scared to go back. And, you know, a friend of mine or a coworker of mine had surgery with the same doctor and has the same APRN. And she hasn't gone for a fill yet. And, you know, she didn't feel like she needed one, you know, and that's fine. And now she's scared to go back because she's embarrassed a little bit. And I just, you know, I was talking to her the other day. I was like, so what? You didn't feel like you needed a fill. You got your shit together. And now you want to get a fill so you can start all over again. Just remember, you know, it's going to get a little bit more difficult the more fills you get because you got to get used to another eating habit. You're used to being able to still eat and chew and swallow. But once you start getting tighter, it's like you have to start all over again with the chewing uh with the drinking it's just it's it's different it's i don't know how to explain it you guys have gone through it and those that haven't gone through it it is just everyone's different everyone's gonna go through their own you know battles but they're all pretty much the same we all feel what you feel we all have felt what you feel right now especially if you haven't had surgery yet that nervousness you know that anxiety from getting the surgery or even if you're post um post-op and you're not having restriction don't fret you're getting there they have to slowly build you up some uh, doctors are a little bit more aggressive with their fills and some aren't um, mine isn't he started me off at 1.5 and he worked his way up 0.5 each time i think he went 1.5 1 and then 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 you know until i got to 6.5 that was too much for me I went back I was not gonna suffer for another two weeks so listen to your body do not be discouraged you know you're not supposed to feel restriction right away and we all want that instant gratification honey but at the end of the day you will appreciate slowly building your way up there because your body is going to go through amazing changes and some of it is frustrating as hell and others it's just strange <laughs> um so all in all i'm doing okay um oh i want to congratulate all the guys that hit wonderland i am not doing the little dance i'm sorry i'm a little i don't want to say shy we'll go with shy i know you guys would never think of me as shy i just don't feel comfortable dancing on screen you know if y'all was paying me you know like in the poll maybe maybe no, i'm just kidding um but i want to congratulate everyone that's hit wonderland um jen you made it i'm so proud of you you just deserve it i mean everyone that's made it to wonderland it's it's ama it must feel amazing so i'm extremely happy for you guys and i could just imagine how you know excited you guys all are so congratulations again um if you guys have any questions please feel free to yeah, comment down below or message me on my Facebook page. I'll leave all my links below. So, love you guys. Bye. Oh, and happy 4th of July. <laughs>